right, all right. We're just going to keep taking all the screws out. Don't even know where to start from. This is what we're gonna mount up the ESC on. Here is the receiver box. It's not waterproof, but I never get any water in it, and it works awesome. Don't ever worry about your batteries flying out, we're gonna go ahead and use the PNW RC Madness four millimeter thick carbon fiber trays with Kevlar straps and metal buckles. Bend in your center drive shaft. We got the brand new 7075 aluminum GPM. Center drive shaft weighs twice as much as the stock. We've got the GPM bash bar. That's what I call it. This is 7075 aluminum. It attaches to the truck at eight points. We got four screws in the front, four screws in the rear, and it does come with the hardware. Check it out. We got the Trill front C hubs. We're going to be running the Trill steering bill crank support 7075. Servo has not showed up, but we're going to be running the Protec 1K TBL, and you're going to need this to install that. It comes with the drag link, a servo horn, and the adapter. Some more bling. All right, in order to make this truck bulletproof, we're gonna go ahead and build up all the diffs. That's gonna be the Spider Gears by GPM. Medium steel, we got the 7075 aluminum diff cups. And then to top it off, we're gonna go ahead and use the GPM outdrives. These are... Got the GPM shocks they have the reservoirs and they come with two different size springs will be trio front knuckles 7075 aluminum these come with oversized bearings as well and then you're going to use the stock bearing on the outside we got the front and rear trio hobby diff covers 7075 aluminum and now check it out GPM front and rear bulkheads now this is going to be for your upper front and back. Finish off the suspension. Here is the rear hubs. These are Trill as well and they GPM, Traxxas X-Max and XRT medium steel carbon front and rear suspension pins. Best upgrade you can do to your truck. PNW RC Madness motor mount with 30 millimeter screw spacing. This is going to hold the Hobbywing 1250 KV brushless motor. All right, so we're just making up templates. We're using tape. We're using this 3M wrap. I got it on eBay. It wasn't too much, one foot by five foot. It's actually done a couple other trucks, so as well as this RIT die. We uh, dyed the chassis for 24 hours and we dyed the GPM wing mount that is usually white. And hey, check this out. We're gonna go ahead and install these GPM shocks, but first we're gonna go ahead and rebuild them. Let's okay, because we're adding so much weight to the truck and the truck is super heavy, we're gonna go ahead and add these M2C pistons. Super nice. We're gonna go ahead and put 45 in the front and 47 and a half in the rear. These are just team associated oils. Rebuild them and get them all done. We're gonna go ahead and install these Traxxas springs. We're gonna use I believe it's blue in the rear and yellow in the front. Label the shocks front and rear and we're going to do 45 in the front and 47 and a half in the rear. All right, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and install these PNW RC Madness carbon fiber four millimeter thick trays with the Kevlar unbreakable straps. They fit the biggest batteries. Grab your chassis, throw the tray in there, some holes. After you drill the holes, it's gonna leave a little burr. You're gonna take the little washers and just set it right on top of the burr. Okay, so we got the chassis done. Quick sneak peek, look at that. We got it all completed. And we are moving on to the differentials and Check this out guys, this is gonna be a complete rebuild all the way down to all center differential. I don't know what these are called, but these are gonna go in all the diffs. All these parts are brand new. We got the GPM 7075 aluminum diff cases. 
Mod 1.6 diff gears. We got the GPM out drives. All the spider gears, sun gears. We even got the pins, the cross pins. It's all medium steel. Brand new seals, all the hardware. Last but not least, the truck is getting special treatment by Avid Bearing throughout. So let's build them. Check it out, we got them built, ready to install into the chassis. So let's go ahead, keep building guys. And this is really what I wanted to show you. This is gonna be the servo we're installing in the truck. We have the GPM servo adapter fits right in. That's all you're gonna need. Comes with a servo mount and all that good stuff. But first, let's check out the servo. Check this out, this is a full aluminum case. I don't want to say it's the best, but there's a lot of things that you can say are the best. This is just an awesome servo. It's never broke on me or let me down. Real quick, the specs on it are at 8.4 volts. It's uh, 0.11 uh, at 60 degrees per second. I think I said that right. <laughs> and at 8.4 volts, it's 1080 ounces per inch, so 1080 um, ounces per inch. It's a super strong servo lid. Get out. Stainless steel. This is part number TXM008 slash uh, 0C. These are the Traxxas X Max and XRT front stainless steel upper bulkhead tie bars. So, next step, we're going to go ahead and we already bound up our FGR4S receiver and we got the Protec 1K TBL installed. Now we just need to center it up so we can install the GPM. Servo horn. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We got it already good to go. Let's see what we got. There we go. Make sure everything's at zero. Let's button her up. Now we're gonna go ahead and install this steering servo 7075 aluminum from GPM. Okay, so let's go ahead and check up for this uh, front gear mesh. Set this bearing in there, see what we got. Show you live on video. All right, let's check this out. These are brand new, brand new chassis. And look at that, guys, guys and gals, there is absolutely no play. All right, let's check side to side, no play. So that's the GPM Mod 1.6. All right, so on top of the GPM diff cases, we're gonna go ahead and take this GPM upper aluminum bulkhead, a little bit of utter butter. it up you want to check and make sure everything is spinning nice and free oh yeah nice and free time to drop the steering rack on the GPM 7075 aluminum with the avid bearings check this out super nice fit super nice stuff fellers there we go check that out All right, check this out, guys. We just about got this thing. Go ahead and screw it together. Start putting on the ESC caddy. Get the motor all worked out. Still waiting. All right, so next thing, ESC caddy. Go ahead and screw that down to the chassis. You can find these on the website, www.pnwrcmadness. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll grab the hardware. It comes with all the hardware, the RX box. Just screw that down. Install this. Once you get your ESC mounted up, then you can screw that plate down. Let's keep wrenching. Go ahead and mount up your RX box. Go ahead and mount up your RX. Little trick, you can cut that in half to get it off easier. Pulling up the corners, go ahead and mount up your receiver. All the trio upper steering support bulkhead. See how nice it mounts up. Oh, it fits like a glove. Ready to install the front steering links. We're going to be installing these Traxxas 160 millimeter adjustable steering links. Check those out. Super nice. But not least is the knuckles. Still waiting on those axles, but here they are. They also come with bearings, 775 aluminum. 
come with the king pins. Super nice. Check those out. Guys, we're going to go ahead and replace the stock wing support uh, bracket, I guess, with the GPM. We actually dyed this one, and this is the hardware it comes with. So, okay, so check this out, guys. One of the awesomest upgrades to your XRT or XMAX is going to be this GPM hinge pin kit. Because the first time you jump them, uh, your pins come out because the arms spread. But this is a whole entire set for the whole truck. Fits on the entire X-Max and there's only two that don't fit on the XRT just because there's a spot, I believe it's in the rear, where you can't get uh, a wrench on. Something like that. But we're going to go ahead and drill out the arms. Comes with a drill bit and comes with all the pins for the shocks. Little uh, rubber O-rings, all that good stuff. So we're going to holes drilled in the arms with a supplied drill bit. Now we're going to go ahead and button up the bottom. That way we can attach the arms. One thing I like to do is put a little bit of Utter Butter on the suspension holder pieces. Um, we're going to be the GPM hinge pin holder. Um, aluminum piece. It's going to help uh, support basically the whole bottom of the truck. So. One thing I noticed as well is that the stock plastic actually starts to slide around in there. These are nice and um, snug and they're not going to wear out as fast as the plastic one. One quick upgrade I like to add guys are these GPM. These are like the motor mount washers. I'll go ahead and install these before I button up the skid plate. That just keeps these screws from pulling through the chassis and they work awesome. Your motor mount's not going to slide around. So we're not ready to install the lower gear shaft yet, but we're going to do the mod because we're going to go ahead and put on the um, <laughs> the center skid, even though we're going to have to take it off. But you can go ahead and use that same bit that you had for your GPM. And you're going to want to drill out through these front two holes. It's going to be these two right here in the front. And then you're going to use the 50 millimeter and the 25 millimeter come up from the bottom. All right, so once you get it drilled out, you're going to want to go ahead and carve that out. That way you can get your bolt right down in there. All right, moving right along, guys. We got these brand new GPM. These are the 7 millimeter. I call them the beefcakes. Going to come with two grub screws. This is a removable 24 millimeter hex. It actually has a ridge or a lip around the side keeps your wheels from pinching against the knuckles. Super awesome steel uh, stub axles and yeah, GPM. Let's go ahead and install. Here we are, we're gonna install some dust boots, part number TRX3001, called inboard dust boots for X-Max and XRT. Got my axle all lubed up with Utter Butter. Just go ahead and slide this bad boy over first. Try not to rip them. They are just made of silicone. Grooves on each side. You're gonna just line that up with the grooves on your outdrive and you're good to go. Get that bad boy pushed all the way on. Nice. Kind of seals up the diff case right there. But not least on the back of the truck is going to be these 3D printed wheels from Sussman Designs. Check those out. Oh, guys, we're basically done. We just have to install the belt drive. Now we're going to go ahead, clean it up real good with some Cal RC electronic cleaner and degreaser. I like to use some Q-tips, just clean all that good stuff up. Definitely recommend the Bauhaus 8mm shaft. Get this out of the package, clean that up. And then don't forget, you can find this on my website. This is the uh, belt drive mod. So we're gonna go ahead and install that, put the wheels on, put the body on, get it all configured. Look at that guys, it's looking pretty awesome. And then just get it in the dirt and get it sent off. So let's go. Yeah, belt drive going in, baby. Yeah, yeah. So I set that back about, oh, three and three quarter millimeters. Slide that bad boy in there. Make sure it's meshing with the input gear. 
All right, now next thing you're gonna do, flip the truck over and install the PNW RC Madness Belt Drive Mod. It's gonna bolt down from the top, put these in the freezer so that they go into the lower gear cover and you're good to go. We are 